From the hundreds interned without trial by the British government in 1971, 14 men had been picked out for extreme interrogation. They were flown to an army base, hooded, denied food and sleep, and forced into stress positions. The UK Supreme Court later ruled what happened had amounted to torture. I have grandchildren and I have great-grandchildren, so I'm one of the fortunate ones that I can stand here today speaking to you. Those, the children of our dead, the early deaths, never knew their fathers. The PSNI said in its view the apology was the right thing to do to help give the hooded men and their families recognition about how they were treated. Betty Shivers is from Tipperary Town. Her husband Pat was one of the 14. He died in the mid-80s, haunted by his experience. He was, a, he was a changed man. He was always jolly and nice and he loved the family and he loved the boys. But then after that, he would jump in his sleep and shout out. Only eight of the 14 are still alive. Joe Clark, the tall, dark-haired man, seen at the rear and on the right here, died yesterday. Joe Clark had been one of the most vociferous campaigners for an apology. In secret, an advanced copy of that apology was hand-delivered to his deathbed last Thursday and presented to him in the presence of his family. Some are cynical about this apology. They say if the state was truly sorry, it would drop objections to their demand for a proper police investigation and resolve the outstanding issue of compensation.